That's a big one. That's a fing stretch. Up. It's a nice one. Oh, there's That's another one. Nice double one. up, double up, double up. That's a Oh, one. double up, double up. <laughs> Oh my god, he's right next to it. Oh, nice, Gabe. So nice, bro. So nice, dude. Beautiful. Look at the colors on this Let one. Let me take a picture of that. Wow. Please. I want to put it on my snap store. Like, unhealthy looking one. Look at that. Look, the colors, though, on this guy are amazing. Incredible, dude. Oh god. Nick's got one over here now too. Mr. Cox. Hell yeah. It, Colors on these guys, man. Look at that. They're just insane fish. Get the double. Large mouth. Even the turtle's all over it. Turtle's like super tame. Turtle's trying to get the bass. Oh my god. Oh my god. The turtle's gonna bite the bass. Oh, he can go right up to it, doesn't it? Yeah. I thought you had the turtle. Oh, that's large mouth bass. I know the turtle's chasing it, dude, the whole time. Oh, yeah, boy, that was sick. Nice oh, yeah, little large mouth. Turtle. <laughs> Throw all the way down here for three and a half hours for large mouth, boys. <laughs> Oh, there's some bass coming through. Oh, he's going for it. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Let him let him eat. Just leave it there. Don't even move it. You'll eat it. Mayan. Yo, there's a big pea next to it. There's a big pea right next to it. There's mine cichlid. These things are super aggressive. Oh. These things are super aggressive and they have teeth. They will take out most of your fish in the aquarium, at least from my experience. And they're super aggressive while fishing. And they fight, they fight pretty good too, so. Got him? Nice! Oh, it's a stud. That's a big one, that's a big one, that's a big one. That's a f***ing stud, so it's a nice one. Oh, there's that's another one. Nice one. Double up, double up, double up. Oh, double up, double up. Oh, that was so sick. Oh, oh. If I don't get this thing up to get a picture of it, I'm going to my pants. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Hell yeah. Not even that nice. Hey. Broke my hook off. That's awesome, dude. God, broke that. Yeah. Holy Swung it. Yeah. All right, going for the God, release. they fight hard. Way better than fight regular so bass. Hard. I got to go back and get another hook. So, stop at a spot that I used to live right next to. This is pretty much my old backyard right here. And uh, I used to catch a lot of big peacocks here. 
um, on top water lures, stuff like that. If you scroll through my old videos, you can actually see where I did that. But it's strange. So, you've got a little bit of flowing water here, but that water is not coming from anywhere but runoff, and it's also... So we've got a little bit of running water here, but when I used to live here, the water used to flow that way. Um, usually this, oh, I got one, got one, got one, got one. Nice one, holy crap. Oh, it's just a mines. Oh, it is a peacock. Sweet. can't beat that fight. Anyways though, that's a nice peacock. Beautiful. A lot of the ones that I'm catching today all have the hump, so that usually means they're males. But they're all schooled up on these minnows over here. Anyways guys, that's another nice one. And when I was fishing here, that water used to be coming in that way, dumping underneath the street into that side of the spillway. And that's usually how it went, but now we got the dry season, the water's super low, and the water is actually flowing the opposite direction. So it's interesting. It's, it's very weird. Also very cool. I still fish here. I have not fished here in at least a year or so, definitely. All right, guys. Micro bluegills going on, the live bait. We're gonna see if we can catch a peacock bass. I haven't fished a spot in a long time, but I know it's pretty loaded out here. Got one. Ah, oh, through the hook. It's another big old ugly Mayan cichlid here. This is actually Mayan cichlid. That might work better. Um. I mean, that's how big they are. I mean, they're probably about an inch and a half. I'm using like a one-aught live bait J-hook. And um, we're just pitching around these trees and stuff. It's spring, the beginning of spring, so it's kind of hot, but it's not quite the heat. They want to be super aggressive and right on the bank, so these fish are a little bit offshore in the deeper water still. I'm just tossing it out a few feet. I've got fluorocarbon leader that's definitely a must guys I wouldn't use always fluorocarbon I mean I still think mono works just as good but light fluorocarbon leader and light drag is key all right so I've, now I've got this little Mayan cichlid on I'm not sure if it's gonna make a difference but hopefully I won't catch any more Mayan cichlids like that last big orange fish was a fully grown Mayan cichlid but the small ones peacocks will definitely chomp I've also caught snook and tarpon on mine cichlids, so they're really good all-around bait down here. Oh, wow! Did not expect that. Eat it on top water. That's a peacock. Sweet, another aggressive male. That big head, little guy. Come on over here. Woo! Gotta be ready for that head shake when you up these guys. So yeah, that light drag and light line, guys, is really what you need with these guys, because they will break you off if you have tight drag and super light line. So I always keep my drag super loose when I set the hook, and 
sounds like you're friggin' way too loose, but it still gets you really nice up there. Alright, look at that. Beauty. There's a lot of bluegill out there. Big peacock! Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but he followed it right to the bank. That was so sick. Look at that! Frick yeah, dude. Just a freaking another beautiful one. Look at that, guys. All right, guys. Well, that's a stud male there with the hump on his head. And he just came right up to shore and just grabbed it right at my feet. That was just insane. What a beautiful eat there. There he goes. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I'm just gonna go over quickly the tackle we were using um, when you're fishing for peacock bass, especially in South Florida. You wanna be using ultra, ultra light tackle, not like the Amazon where you're using heavy, big tackle and giant top water and stuff like that. So what I've got here is the Cast King Valiant Eagle with 10 pound braid spooled up on there. It's a 2000 size reel, really small reel, really light line, 10 pound braid allows you to cast better and I just keep my drag really loose. See that? Super, super loose. Um, and that's because our leader up here is eight pound test and peacocks have little teeth. This is the hook we were using also. It's a little drop shot hook from Gamakatsu. And that was getting the job done out there. And the rod is a 6'6 casting calamus. I'll have a description for that as well, but it's an ultralight and it has that flexible tip and that's what you need for a fishing light line with like eight pound tests, chloro or mono for the leader, which we're using. And it'll prevent you from breaking off, it'll prevent you from pulling hooks, and it'll prevent you from making holes in the fish's mouth. So definitely make sure you use a soft tip rod, light drag, light line. And that's all you need, some live bait. You know, I have a blast down in South Florida. First lake you saw us fishing at, we were just casting underneath the bridge and we had a really steep drop off where it dropped to like 20 feet. We were just fishing those pylons and the grass around there and you could literally see the peacocks and that's how you knew like that's a good spot. The second section of the video where you see me fishing, I am literally just fishing a small um, PVC pipe that was underground. And other than that, there was really no structure there. Peacocks a lot of times like to school up on drop offs more than structure. So whether it's clean water, deeper water, um, that's a lot of times a little school up, open water sometimes. You get out there, try it yourselves. You can look it up on Google. There's a lot of spots, um, public spots to fish for peacock bass, spillways, but they can only survive in South Florida. So but they're not hard to find and they're a ton of fun to catch.